Welcome back. The next bit is doing the cutting out or getting the pattern onto the beautiful glass. And you can see how stunning this glass is. My God, I love it. Um, so it's going to be quite easy because it's very transparent on a white piece of paper and I can see it to quite easily trace that out. Different story with uh, the fins, which is on solid opaque, well, almost opaque glass so here I used a light box to get the pattern on there the other way of course is to make paper patterns and trace out the pieces you need because I'm doing a cheat cut I'm going to trace the whole pattern on here as is and cheat cut it out so the tricky bits are going to be these big cuts here so it's really going to test me out particularly given these little wavy bits in the middle so the challenging bit of cutting for me right there the cutting of of stained glass i covered in workshops four and three about bees and butterflies so if you want to see how i cut glass um, and that's a lot of cheek cutting in there do review those uh, workshops or the videos associated with those workshops Okay, the next step in this process is setting up my board with my sticky mesh and for the double indirect method you will also need some, probably some nice big fat face tape, sticky tape, moving tape, whatever you call this type of tape. Some people are, are clever enough to do it using contact, uh, but I just get into a, a terrible pickle if I use contact, I'll end up just contacting myself. So this, this wide, nice wide tape I use, you can use smaller tape depending on how big your fish is going to be. So I've glued it down, or well, sticky taped it down, or face taped it down um, already, and you can see it's sticky. I use this for the first practice fish. And of course you need your pattern. I've left one end open so I can just slide my pattern in wherever I need it to be. And I would be getting probably another couple of uses out of this bit of sticky mesh. If it wasn't for sticky mesh, I probably wouldn't be doing mosaics. Then as you cut out your pieces of stained glass, what I do is give the edges, of course, safety first, give the edges a rub down. So you only need one or two or three rubs on the edges to decrease your opportunity to cut yourself. The bottom edge of your cut will be the sharpest. So just give that a bit of a, a, a rub or a swipe on whatever it is that you've got handy and be gentle with some of your glasses uh, because it can chip on the edges. So once you've done all your safety first and you're ready to apply your lovely bits of glass to your pattern. So here I've already done its little fins. I do the dorsal fin here last because once it's all down and glued, it will change shape. And that's a, a critical piece there. And the other piece there. So you can see my cheek cutting has worked really well. I look like I'm the most expert cutter on the planet. Perfect fit. Which you probably wouldn't get if you use paper patterns. It would be just a little bit out of whack. The other great thing about using this method is when you start to place your pieces, you can ease them where you need them to go. And your pattern will change as you ease things. So don't get too uh, bent up or stressed about, oh my God, I didn't cut it exactly on the line, because you can just sort of wiggle it into, into good shape. And I'll go over that with it. So as you can see, the sticky mesh is working really well. Oh, we lost that piece of um, off the video, but you can see this is all stuck down. So if I change my mind, I can just pull this off and move it somewhere else. Let's say that's the spot I wanted it to be. We'll change it around the other way, just to demonstrate the mesh. It is in fact really sticky and, and holds quite well. So it's not going anywhere. And you wouldn't think so by the touch. So that's the first part. Once it's all done, then we'll do the taping or what fun that's going to be.